In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to pack two frames side by side in TakeHinter. This seems like a pretty simple task, it's just putting two frames side by side, but it's actually a bit trickier than it looks, okay? Which is why I'm sure you're watching this video, because you couldn't figure it out. So don't worry, I'll explain everything there is to know about the Pack Layout Manager here uh, in, with regards to this topic and how we can, you know, use frames. Because we need to learn how to, you know, make the frames and the pack layout manager. We need to learn how to interact with these two. Okay. So without further ado, let's begin. I'll show you some complex examples as well involving three or four frames, just so you guys get your concepts cleared. Okay. So I'll first create a simple frame here. Okay. I'm gonna create two actually. Uh, there's our first one, and there's our second. Okay. And I'm just gonna give it a simple padding. All right, just so it all looks nice and just copy paste this real quick, change the names here and there. Okay. Run this code and there we go. A simple window. Okay. I just increased the size a bit, but it's empty, you know, cause we didn't create any widgets. Okay. Frames are just containers after all, they don't really count as widgets. At least I don't really count them that way. So we'll create a label, a simple label. And then I'm going to make it the parent, the frame, okay? And then the text can be something simple, like this is frame one, okay? And we'll just pack this in, all right? Shortcut, you don't, you don't need to put it on a separate line. It's just a shortcut way of doing this, all right? And there we go. I'm gonna copy this over here and just change the names all right and change this as well this is very important a lot of people make this mistake all right and i'll run this code now and there we go okay there's uh hold on it's a bit difficult to grab this thing while it's small all right so here we go now the problem here is that this is vertically stacked right and we want to make this side by side horizontally stacked so the very first thing I'll do actually, before um, I do that, I'm gonna change the color from the default. And this is gonna make it really easy for us to notice which frame is going where, all right? So here's our current layout, okay? So there's our frame one and there's our frame two. Now, what we want to do is put them side by side, right? Now, there's a really easy way of doing this, okay, once you get the hang of it. So first, you need to do the side parameter, all right? And then you need to do uh, left, okay? We also have top, we also have bottom, all right? And we also have, uh, which one am I missing? Right, yeah, we have right, okay? So what I'll do is put this one to the left, and I'll put this one to the right, okay? Sound cool? So I'll run this code now and there we go. That's all there was to it. See, we're done. But uh, don't leave just now because there's a lot more to discuss, all right? So the very first thing I want to show you guys is how the side operator really works. So currently I've put frame one to the left and frame two to the right, all right? So this makes sense, okay? Uh, and if I increase the size here, you'll notice that this happens. All right, this is because frame one is aligned to the left and frame two is aligned to the right. So that's why there's all this space in between them. Now, chances are that this is not what you want. So let me show you a slightly different way of making sure that they're side by side. You pass side is equal to left on both of them. Okay, and now when you run this code, you'll see that they're both to the left, but when I increase the window size, both of them are still side by side. And this little gap between them is only because of the padding, okay? So this is in this implementation with both of them being left is actually a more truer to the concept of, you know, keeping two frames side by side because they weren't really side by side before. Not really, okay? So this is actually a more better implementation. All right, but obviously this depends on exactly what you're trying to do. Okay, I'm just showing you the different ways you can do this. Now, what exactly is the logic behind this? We just put both of them to the left. How does that work? Well, the thing is that 
taking their works in a very sequential format. So uh, this you see here that the frame one got moved to the left first, and then frame two got moved to the left after that. So that's why they're in this order. But if I do this, if I take frame one and place it after frame two, you'll notice that frame two appears first. Okay, so that's what I mean by taking their work, work sequentially. Okay, so whichever one gets placed first or whichever one gets packed first actually is the one that ends up, uh, you know, being placed first. It's given first priority. Now, likewise, if I change both of these to the right, okay, I made frame one go to the right first. So that's why it's all the way to the right. And then frame two comes after it because obviously it can't take up the space that frame one is taking, right? Okay, so that's a pretty simple explanation. Let's get a bit more complicated. So the one thing I wanna show you guys is how you can you know, make these uh, frames expand, okay? And this is actually also pretty important because this will, uh, let me just show you. You need to do both of these parameters, okay? And I'll show you how to customize these a little bit in a minute. So if I run both of these codes and that did not work as I expected. Hold on. Oh wait, never mind. It did. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it's actually because of the padding over here. Let me just remove that. And if I run this code now. There, there we go. So the frames are now in a more, well, depending on how you want it to be, they're now literally side by side, no matter what you do. Okay, you can increase the size, well, unless you make it really small. Uh, so yeah, it's, you know, always side by side, because they're expanding to fill the whole window. And it basically works on a priority system. Uh, well, not a priority system, more like a weight system, I think. So there are two frames and there's the whole window. So what it does is divides it into two. So if there were three frames, the window would be divided into three. Uh, you know, in terms of width. So that's how this works. Okay, there are only two, so right now it's equally divided amongst the two frames. Okay, if I created a third frame right now and just change a bunch of names here, then we would end up with the screen being split into three. Let me just give this a different color. Let's give this blue. Okay, change the text on that and change that, run the code now, and there we go. All right, cool. So that's three frames that have centered, uh, well, not centered, but they're side by side now, all right? So that's basically how this works. I just showed you um, how this works. Now, there's one more thing I do want to show you, and that's if you change the fill parameter. This can take three values, both x and y. If you put y, then it'll only expand in the y direction, x in the x direction only, and both will, you know, will make it expand in both directions. But that's not really relevant right now, so let's not talk about that too much. There's one last thing I want to show you, and I'm going to put in another frame here. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Uh, this is going to get a bit complicated. I hope I don't have to spend a few minutes debugging this. All right, let me just do this, and there we go. Wait, there's nothing inside there. Let me just put something in there. Okay, let's call it label zero. This is frame zero. Okay, so if I run this code now, there we go. Yeah, this is uh, this is the last thing I wanted to point out that this is how taking to works. So let me explain this. First, this one got packed. This frame zero got packed. Okay, and this appears. Uh, at the top because by default it gets stacked vertically right so it t it took up all this space okay because by default they don't they don't stack side by side so that's why when we packed in the next one which is frame one it didn't appear on the side it appeared down there so basically this region occupied by frame zero no one can appear on it okay i hope you get this part it's a bit complicated and Practice makes perfect, okay? But uh, I hope you get this part where you pack a frame and unless you specify that it's going to the right or it's going to the left, then it's gonna take up the whole row, 
okay? It's going to take up the whole row. That's what's happening here. It's going to expand automatically and take up that whole row. Well, I don't think it's really expanded, actually. I th I'm pretty sure the frame is just, you know, uh, around the label. But still the same thing. It's not letting any other widgets, any other frames come into its area, so that counts. Okay, it's basically consuming up that whole row. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys in today's video. I showed you guys how to use the side parameter, expand, fill, uh, and this l little trick with the backgrounds. It, you know, clarifies things as to how big your frame is and its boundaries and all that because normally it's kind of invisible. All right. So, yeah, that's all there was to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. We make a lot of take your content, a lot of small tips like this that you'll surely find useful. All right. See you guys in a later video.